Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot issues with your computer not waking up or turning on. Now, most of these for laptops, I'm going to show you in this video on what you can do to help troubleshoot and hopefully fix the problem. Uh, sometimes if, it, if you step away and the computer goes to sleep, you come back, you try to wake it up, and it won't wake up. Well, I want to show you how to fix uh, issues such as those. It's not a common problem. Uh, it does happen from time to time that your computer goes to sleep and it just won't wake up. Uh, other times uh, you've shut your computer down uh, or you've stepped away, you come back to turn the computer back on, and no lights, the power, nothing will come on. So again, I'm going to show you how to fix these uh, issues with laptops and hopefully we can get your computer to turn back on. Now this is a problem I've come across before so I'm going to show you what you can do yourself to uh, try and see if you can get your computer to reboot. Now this laptop here I'm going to show you what you can do to help uh, troubleshoot and see what the problem is. Now if the computer has gone to sleep you'll notice that some of these computers will have a light as you can see here that's flashing. Uh, this lets you know that the computer is on, but it's in the sleep mode. And as you can see, this is the power light that's going to it continues to flash steadily. Now, for some laptops, they show them as a uh, an amber, uh, which stays solid, or it turns amber and it's just steady flash, like you see this laptop doing. Now, in most cases, when you do these laptops and you uh, want to wake them up. Uh, oftentimes if you open the lid uh, it automatically wakes up. Now if for some reason that uh, it doesn't wake up uh, press a key. Uh, any key on the keyboard uh, will allow it to wake up. Uh, even if you move the mouse uh, press a button uh, this will automatically uh, wake up your computer. If you have a charger, uh, you can plug it in. Uh, a lot of times computers will go to sleep, especially if they've been on battery power for a long period of time. If for some reason that your computer still won't wake up, uh, there is an alternative. But uh, because of the problems uh, that's associated with this, uh, it could harm your computer. Well, not harm it, so to speak, but uh, prevent went, uh, corrupt data on Windows or something. And you want to lose this as a last resort. I mean, absolutely last resort. Don't be doing this anytime a, your computer freezes up or uh, it won't turn off. What I'm going to show you is in the event that your computer still will not wake up, and there's no hard drive activity like flashing other than the power light which the power light will flash what you can do is hold the power button in give it about four to ten seconds and then your computer is going to shut off now if you were to look on the side now you can tell that the power light is no longer flashing. Okay. Now keep in mind that this is known as a forced power cycle or a forced shutdown. The hardware in these laptops have the ability to uh, force the device or the computer to shut down in the event that the software or the operating system becomes unresponsive. This is a forced shutdown. Now you don't want to do it unless you absolutely have to. If nothing else fails, you touch a keyboard, you open the lid, nothing happens. Uh, there's no hard drive activity light and the computer still will not wake up. Then you can force the power cycle. Once you have it shut down, wait about 30 seconds before you turn it back on. 
This gives the computer plenty of time to completely drain its power from the memory and this processor before uh, and all the other components before you turn it back on. Now after the 30 seconds you want to go ahead and turn it back on. Now if your computer isn't plugged in go ahead and plug it in. Um, some people I know like to use the batteries and stuff and sometimes if the battery gets too weak this is what causes them not to wake up. So you want to make sure that you put your power cord back in when you turn it back on. Now normally uh, once you get a power back in just go ahead and turn it back on and you're going to see the computer reboot and then you'll be able to go back to normal. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is what to do in the event that the computer will not even turn on. Next I'm going to show you what to do in the event that your computer will not even turn on. I mean if you were to press the power button light uh, and nothing happens, power light don't come on, no indications of life to your computer when you press the power button. Uh, what you want to do first, uh, you want to check, make sure that your computer is plugged in and turn the power button on. Uh, you can also try turning, uh, pushing the power button in for about four to five seconds and see if the computer will come on. Sometimes it will. Make sure that your power is plugged in also check to make sure that the AC uh, part of your charging cord is also plugged in. In most cases uh, you will see a light. Uh, for instance I'll show you this one here. Uh, this one here uh, which uh, shows you that the power is on. You'll see that little red light next to the power uh, plug. Uh, that indicates that the computer is getting power. You want to check for that. Now, depending on your computer, it's going to be either on the front, uh, perhaps the side, or even next to the uh, power plug. You want to make sure that there is a light coming on because it indicates that the power uh, is coming to the computer. Now, you'll also probably see another light that comes on that shows that it's charging your batteries, which is a good sign. That means that your batteries are charging and your computer is getting power. Now, if for some reason that you push your power button and nothing still will not happen, uh, you got your light coming on for your power, so you know you're getting AC power, but when you press that power button, still nothing happens. What I want to show you is what you need to do next. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove all power sources, everything. Uh, remove your AC power adapter. You want to uh, go ahead and gently close the lid on your laptop. Flip your laptop upside down. Now for some computers, not all, but some of these laptops, um, you'll see back here in the back, let me get a closer look, uh, you'll see back here, uh, you'll see these little latches back here in the back. Uh, on both sides, this is where your uh, battery uh, attaches and removes. Now, not all laptops have these. So what you want to do is gently lay your laptop on a flat surface. On these back parts here where you see the little uh, thumb, uh, the, the slide switches, some laptops will have one, some will have two. This one here has two. Uh, I've worked on some laptops that only had one that unlocks both sides. What you'll do is you'll push them together. You'll hear a click. A lot of times this will eject them. And then you can remove the battery. Like such. Now I got the battery removed. You just want to leave it set aside. Now you want to take the laptop, flip it back over, and you want to gently open it up. Do not plug anything in. Once you have everything plugged, uh, removed, you got the power adapter removed, 
you've got your battery removed. Now what you want to do is hold the power button down for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds. Now what this will do is force the computer to completely drain all sources of power and helps to reset the uh, power safety feature that the laptops have built in. What happens is if the voltage uh, that is provided to the computer uh, is out of spec specifications, for instance if the voltage is too low or too high, the safety feature will automatically kick in and prevent the computer from turning on. This is to protect the laptop. Uh, it could be a faulty power supply that you had or it could have been something in the computer itself. Most cases it's just um, um, a faulty uh, uh, power supply or it may just been a fluke that it happened, especially if you're in an area where the power fluctuates. Sometimes this can happen. Now, once you've held it for 30 seconds, go ahead and close the lid again. You want to flip over your laptop. First thing you want to do is take the battery. Now keep in mind, not all computers will have these batteries that can be removed. Not all of them. But most of them will. If yours can't remove the batteries, do not take the computer apart. I don't want people uh, writing in to me telling me that they took the computer apart and now the computer don't work. Don't blame me for it. I told you not to do it. Now the first thing you're going to do is just put the battery back in. And you'll hear it a lot of times it'll click to let you know that they're in place. Now some of these all you have to do is just take the uh, switch back and it will automatically lock them in place. Now you want to make sure that when you insert your battery that it's inserted securely and it's latched. You don't want it falling out. Now that the battery is back in, now you can flip the computer back over, gently lay it on the table. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your AC power cord back in. Now, once you plug your AC cord back in, you're going to notice that the light should come on. As you see here that the light came on, so now I am getting power. When you plug it in and that light comes on, you want to make give it about 10-15 uh, seconds. Uh, let the system uh, realize that the power is there and begin charging your batteries. Once you uh, allow the time for the computer to adjust to the power source, now you can open your computer. And with any luck, if everything goes as planned, when you turn the push the power button in, the computer should come on. And there you go. Now the last thing that you can do is if your laptop uh, still won't turn on or perhaps your charging light doesn't come on uh, this can indicate two things uh, one it could indicate that your power supply may be bad or it could be because the motherboard or the uh, power module that's in the computer that regulates the voltage for the, your computer may also be bad um, if for some reason you don't see a light that comes on when you plug your computer in, double check, make sure that it is plugged into a good outlet. If, it, if you have to, try a different outlet and see if a light will come on. Now some of these blocks, these charging blocks for laptops, some of them will have a light on them uh, that indicate that they do have power. Uh, as I showed you on the laptop, some, most laptops will have a light on that shows that they are getting power and are charging. Now, the other thing that you want to do, uh, if for some reason you're still not getting any power, nothing's turning on, 
you notice that your charging light uh, isn't coming on, then what you could do is chest the battery block or the power block here. Now, if you don't, uh, you can use any tester. Uh, this tester here, you can get almost anywhere. Walmart, uh, uh, Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy. I mean, anywhere that sells automotive parts or testers, you can get one of these very cheap. Uh, this one here can test batteries, ohms, uh, continuity, things like that. So cheap. Uh, tester which comes in handy with one of those problems. Now what you'll do let me go ahead and I will turn on my tester. Now because these are DC you also want to double check. The reason for that is because depending on what these are providing if you look on these they give you information about the power adapter now you will have to look closely you may even have to have a magnifying glass because as you can see <laughs> this running is very very small now usually about halfway down they will tell you the voltage uh, they'll tell you the input voltage which is usually 100 to 240 uh, even th the one you want to look for is the output now the output, depending on the manufacturer and the laptop, will range anywhere between 18 to 19 and a half volts. Now once it's plugged in, you may see a light on these come on. Uh, if you do, that, that, that's a good indicator that it is getting AC power. Now what you'll do is you'll take the plug that you see here. Uh, as you can see, it's got a center hole. Uh, some of these, depending on the size of the plug, it may be bigger with a pin in the middle. Um, but if, it, if the hole in the center is large enough, you can insert uh, a test probe to where you can test the voltage. Now, what you'll do, most cases, these have the negative on the outside. Now, let me move the... the test her up so you can see it. Now I've got the negative side touching the outside and I've got the red one touching the in center. Now if the polarities are reversed it will show it on there. Now as you can see here this says about 19.8 uh, which is good because the power supply is rated for 19.5. So it's pretty close as to where it needs to be. Now these can range anywhere between 1 to 2 percent um, of the stated voltage. So when you check the voltage you want to make sure that the voltage is there. Um, now the voltage doesn't necessarily mean anything but it's a good indicator that your uh, power adapter, your charger uh, is working. It is getting power. Um, but at this point, you'll still need to bring your laptop and your uh, charger into your local repair shop uh, to find out what's causing the problem as to why there's no power indication or any life to your computer when you try to turn it on. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.